What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another unboxing from the cubicle and I've been waiting a while for this. Um, I ordered a bunch of new cubes and um, as well as a replacement piece for my um, cubicle way long GTSM right here as you can see. Um, you saw it in my last video and um, the other video that I'm probably going to be uploading soon. So yeah, anyways, let's just get right into this right here. Hopefully this isn't... I don't find this too difficult to open. Yep, here everything is. So this is a big unboxing, as you can see. We got um, a Cubicle Labs MF3 RSM. This is what I'm actually most excited about, so I'm going to save that for last. And then this is my replacement piece, which is really good. I've been waiting for that for a while. I got um, an MF 2x2 right here. Um, Mofin Joshi Scube. I should have probably gotten the Cyclone Boys uh, Scube because it's magnetic, and I'm pretty sure I've heard it's really nice, but... This is my first scoop I've ever gotten, so um, I don't even know how to solve it, but um, I'm really excited to know how and to use it. So this is my MF 6x6. I'm not sure how good this is, but I do like the Mofing Joshi brands, so I have a lot of cubes with those, so I decided to get this. And then I got a Lithin. I got this just to play around with as well, because um, I don't have any actual cubes that aren't um, compatible. Um, so I decided to get this just because I figured it'd be really fun to play around with. Yep, that's everything. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the 2x2 right here. Um, this is probably the best 2x2 that I actually have. I'm sorry for crap camera angles as well because I'm in a hotel. So this is it right here. Obviously very sandy right out of the box, but with some turns, I'm pretty sure this will get a lot better. Now, I know this is going to be really fast, definitely. And it is really fast, extremely fast. Um, this is the fastest two by two I have. And um, so obviously I wouldn't need to loosen the tensions at all. Tensions are pretty good. Um, if it's if anything, I'm gonna tighten them because it's really quick. Um, a lot faster than my current two by two main, which is Cyclone Boys, um, nothing like this. This isn't that good in my opinion. It'll probably end up being my backup in the comp, which I will talk about at the end of this video. There is, um, there's a comp I'm going to um, in Ohio. Anyways, um, yes, this is my Moping Joshi 2x2, stickerless, and it's, it's really nice, I'm not going to lie. I can really find myself getting some better solves on this, hopefully, because this 2x2 would just lock up a lot, and it wasn't the best. But this one, I, I will probably find a lot better. I don't think it'll be too fast for me, but yeah, that is my new 2x2. So next, we're just going to go ahead and unbox the we're gonna go ahead and do scube now and i'm really excited for scube because this is the first scube i've ever gotten i've never had a scube before and i decided to get the mofing joshi scube that's my first i looked up how to solve it and it's actually not hard at all so this is it right here um like a lot of mofing joshi puzzles really really sandy and slow out of the box I don't even know how to turn. I haven't even gotten used to the turning on this thing, so it's not like I'm going to be able to do a bunch of fast turning and stuff because, like I said, this is my first cube. And, um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, really, really pretty decent for a first cube, I guess. I do want to get the uh, Magnetic Cyclone Boys um, if I even end up liking cube. Um, I got this mainly because I wanted to um, learn how to solve a cube. And... Yeah, it, it's, it's not amazing, obviously. I don't even know what to say about it because this is the first cube I've ever had, so it's not like I can actually say much about it. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, a lot of Mofing Joshi puzzles are just really slow out of the box, but then as you get used to them, uh, it slowly starts to get a bit better. So yeah, that is that. Next, we're going to go with um, the 6x6. Um, I enjoy getting the bigger puzzles. A lot more or I enjoy getting the bigger puzzles mainly to solve them rather than to just speed solve them because I'm extremely bad at speed solving giant cubes so I get these just because I enjoy solving them uh, this is huge right here I'm not gonna lie this looks really fun to solve um, I do have a 5x5 five five. it's this same brand actually um, I believe I did do an unboxing video of that too a while back this is probably my worst unboxing video considering I'm not in house right now still in Michigan um, I'm gonna talk a bit about that at the end of this video, though. So I'm just gonna try and open this thing, if I even can. It's a bit stuck, it looks like. Alright, there we go. 
Okay, and here it is, boys. Here is the Mofin Jow. She's six by six. Um, turns very, very sandy, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really good with turning fast puzzles fast, but I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, now, like I said, I don't have much to say about this either, because this is my first six by six. Um, just like earlier was my first cube. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, it'll work for me. Obviously, it's not anything bad. It's not bad, but it's not super good from what I know of. I don't really know much about, um, the stuff behind speed cubing and big puzzles. But, um, I do like it. I feel like I could get fast with it if I, uh, spend enough time turning. It's really nice. It's definitely a nice cube. And, um, yeah, this is, I'm pretty glad I have this. So, yeah, if you're, you know, wanting to learn to solve big puzzles, this is just a good budget cube. Um, this is also a budget cube. That's the reason I got this as well. And, um, yeah, um, I just got this because I wanted to learn how to solve it. And, obviously, you could do speed solves on this as well. It's not trash at all. It's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, that is the 6x6. Six six. Now, we're going to open up this thing that I got for fun. I'm curious to see how this works. All right, here we are. This is a two by two by three. Um, got this because I, I honestly just wanted to get one, and I felt like it'd be something uh, fun to play along with, or to play around with. It's basically like a two by two and a three by three combined together. Obviously, I don't know how to solve it, but I, I would imagine it's not hard, considering how there's not many pieces to turn. You can only turn these and this, and obviously the middle. Um, there's probably it's probably very simple. It's probably like like, maybe, like, one last algorithm you memorize at the end. Good. If this were an actual event, this would be a good type of speed cube for it. So, yeah, this is pretty nice. And finally, the one I'm most excited about and that I've been waiting for for the longest time. Let me check and make sure the camera's okay. Yep, camera's good. This I've been waiting for. This is the one I'm most excited about, my new 3i3, the FMRS 2M cubicle, um, stickerless as well. I'm really excited about this, and I don't know if it will be better than my current main, which is the uh, GTS Waylong, uh, GTS 2M cubicle. So um, I don't know. I've heard people say it's not like it's not really as fast. Um, it's definitely got a lot of lube in it. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how this cube's gonna be. I'm gonna be the most picky about this one, honestly, because three x three is my favorite event. So here it is, right here. I've been waiting for this for the longest time. Um, we got it wrapped up in this nice thing over here. All right, here it is. This is it, guys. I've been waiting for this for the longest time. Um, this is only this. This is actually the second stickerless cube I've ever gotten. My other one is trash. It's actually the first speed cube I ever got, but this one. All right, guys. This is it. Okay, literally, I've just picked up this cube, and I can already feel the lube on it. So I know that it's been lubed really well. Oh my gosh! And this turning is incredible. You can feel the magnets. The most noticeable things out of this cube, right out of the box, is the amount of lube in the magnets. And um, this this is this is incredible. Honestly, um, we got some nice work. I can okay, I can open it up over here, and you can see the lube inside of the cube. So um. Yeah, this is really nice. I'm glad this turning is incredible. Okay, so that's another thing that I noticed. Corner cutting isn't quite as good on the GTS Waylon. Corner cutting is a lot better on this. Or it could just be that I need to open or do some more turns on it. And uh, I'm going to probably do a solve here in a second to see what that'll be like. But I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Turning isn't slow. Or it doesn't feel slow, at least. Turning's really nice. I don't know why I keep doing a little Y perm over and over again. So yeah, guys, this is the cube that I've been waiting for for the longest, and I'm really glad that it turned out nice. Um, all the, all these cubes turned out really well. Um, Scube was I when I first got this cube. It was a lot like when I first got my Mofing Joshi Pure Mix. It was um, not. It just feels a bit slow. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say the two my two favorite cubes out of these are obviously this right here, um, the MF3 RS2M, and the new MF2x2 I got. This is gonna really help me on 2x2, I feel like. 
Um, I am still a beginner's method solver in 2x2. Two two. I might try and upgrade to Ortega before the comp I'm going to, which, like I said, I'm going to talk about at the end of this video. But there obviously is still one thing I have to open up, and that's my replacement piece. Um, and I, I forgot to choose out a color, which made me feel extremely stupid when I ordered it. Uh, so I'm not, sh I, I'm not sure what's going to come out as. Um, oh, they gave me... Okay, they gave me corner pieces. Oh, they just gave me like a bunch of replacement pieces for this cube specifically. Even though I don't need these, but as you can see, they attach together because of the magnets. Um, yeah, I forgot to choose out a color. I feel very retarded for that, but at least I got something to put on here now. I'm gonna have to somehow find like some type of green sticker I can put here. Um, I don't. I probably won't be able to use it in a competition because of that, which makes me really mad. I could just order another one or. I don't really know if it'll be compatible like that, but at least I have that there now. Um, maybe I could order a green sticker. I'll probably have to do something like that, and then it should be okay. Um, but yeah, guys, those are the new cubes I got. Um, I'm really excited to work around with these and um, see how I do with my new 2x2. Two two. Um, the question I still don't know is if I will be maining this cube. Or if I'll still be maining this one and end up liking this one more. As you can see, it's really beat up. I've had this cube a while. Stickers and stuff are beat up. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to know which of these I'll end up liking better. Um, I really don't know if this is better than the GTS way long. The GTS 2 way long in. Um, but I guess I'll end up finding out here soon. Um, I will say, this looks the corners look pretty interesting. The way that these are built. They're built a lot differently um, to the... Then my other stickerless cube, which is like really trashed, to be honest. But yeah, um, I'm looking forward to learning how to solve these three. I couldn't really give much info on these cubes right here, because I don't even know how to solve them. So um, I'm going to learn how, though. So in one of my last videos, I talked about going to the Great Lakes competition in Indiana. But it turns out I won't be able to go there. Um, so I signed up for a competition in Ohio. Uh, it's called Holy Tolado. And if you guys want to go there... Uh, you'll have a chance to meet me there. I know MH Cyber's going there, so I'll get to see him. Um, the events there are 3x3, 2x2, 4x4, Skew, Clock, and 3x3 with Feet. Pyramix as well, I forgot that one. So yeah, I'll be only participating for 3x3, 2x2, and Pyramix, because like I said, I'm not good with big cubes, or with speed solving them at least. Um, but that is something I want to definitely try and get better at in the future. Um, I was thinking of signing up for Skew, because I had already ordered one then. But I decided not really to do that because I don't know how much I'll end up liking Skube. And I might change it as well if I end up if I do end up wanting to do Skube in that competition. But anyways, guys, um, if you want to have a chance to meet me and you're into cubing, you can sign up for that competition. Um, I will be going there. It's like 55 minutes away from where I live, so it's not far. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Once I moved into a house and I, I'll, I have my computer back, then I'll try and start making more videos. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.